stop paying so much attention on how many times you fail as in sin. Now, let me say this. Yes, we should strive for perfection. Yes. But I think some people pay so much attention to how many times they mess up to where it may discourage them from trying to live for Jesus Christ now. So what I am trying to say, yes, try to do what is right, but don't beat yourself up. Don't get down because you continue to mess up. Keep on trying. Yes, I may not do as many bad things as the next person, but there are things I have to fix as well. There are things that I error in as well. I need to improve in more things as well. Hey, my mind is pretty much on the things of God. I pray. Sometimes I sing songs to God. You know, I do things concerning God. But yet I still mess up. So should I focus so much on my mistakes to where... It disables me from trying to live for Jesus Christ now. Isn't that counterproductive? If I am saying that right. Isn't that a waste? Isn't that mindless? I used to play Call of Duty on the PlayStation 3. Like, I liked many of those games in that franchise. Not all of them. And I'm not saying I was the best in it, but I was getting better. Why? Because I kept on practicing. I continued on continued on, kept on playing, sometimes researched on how to get better or how to aim better and all that stuff there. And I believe I got better, but I still did not become perfect. Yes, I strived for perfection in that video game, but... I think there were always some people that were better than I. What if I would have like stopped, which I stopped not because I was not perfect in that game, but what if I would have stopped because, you know, I was not as good as some other people or... I continue to die quickly, you know. What if I stopped because I felt like I was not where I should be in that game? As in, what if I would have stopped because I felt like my skill level, yeah, wasn't where it should be? What if I would have stopped? Probably, I maybe, maybe I would have not learned what I learned about some of those games. It is going to take, I believe, when you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, it is going to take time, I think, practice, effort, and focus. If it was possible, I wish I could snap my fingers and be so powerful in the things of God. I wish I could snap my fingers and have 
all types of visions, not the bad ones, like to where I can heal people easy and do all this stuff here, but I don't have that. So if I want to increase in Jesus Christ, I believe I have to put time and effort into it. Kevin, I continue to sin and can you pray for me? I can pray for you, but ultimately it is, I think it is going to take you to put in time. Stop being like this popcorn person, like you want things done in two minutes or less, for an example. Don't be that type of person. With God, yes, yeah, some things may come fast, but <laughs> in my experiences, I think some things take time. So if you are failing in the things of God, if you continue to sin and mess up, I think that is normal. But don't stay in that way. Try to get yourself out of it. Right? Listen now. If you are in a hole and you are trying to get out of the hole, why would you take a shovel and dig deeper? Why? Like, you are trying to get out of the hole, right? Why are you continuing to dig deeper? I think if anything, like throw down the shovel or do something to where that shovel can help you pry yourself out of that hole. If that makes any sense to you. Stop thinking you are going to do everything right. Yes, strive for perfection, but stop having this this mind frame, you have been sinning for 20 years and you believe you can do everything of God correctly in under one year. That is strange to think that way. I believe the Apostle Paul, like how many of us can measure up with the Apostle Paul? How many of us? I can't. Even with him, he had trouble with sin as well. So if that great man of God had trouble with sin, what about us? Aren't we going to have some trouble as well? I am not saying that we are going to be out there doing this and doing that, but stop thinking that you can get over your temptation very quickly. Yes, strive for perfection, but stop beating yourself up. If you sin, okay, God, I sin. God, please forgive me. Oh, God, I sinned again. Oh, oh, oops, oops, I sinned again. I, every day, if you sin every day, continue asking for forgiveness and move on. Stop, get yourself out of the path. I think that is the problem of many of us. I think some of our minds are still stuck in the past and thinking that God hates us. I think some people are thinking that way and probably thinking that God is not going to forgive us, blah, 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 blah. Ask for forgiveness, place an effort in trying to become better in Jesus Christ and move on, move forward. No matter how many mistakes you make, continue to move forward, right? Like if the enemy, if an enemy is trying to kill you, 
And let's say you are walking fast and let's say you are tripping over stuff and falling over and whatever else. Are you going to stop because you tripped? Are you going to stop because you fall over? No, I believe you are going to keep on walking. Why? Because you don't want the enemy to get you, right? Please listen to what I am saying. Likewise, do the same thing when it comes down to Jesus Christ. Continue moving forward no matter how many times you sin, no matter how many times you fall over. Move forward. Stop looking back and sitting down and uh, I am so bad, Kevin. You know, God is wasting my... Stop. Stop the pity parties. Stop that stuff, man. Let me stop here. God bless you.